Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture on introduction to linear block codes. At the end of this session, students will be able to identify one type of uh, forward error correction and also able to calculate code words for different linear block codes. Now before starting with the actual session, let's pause the video and think about what is a error control coding. It is means that while transmitting a data from sender to receiver side some extra bits or you can say that redundancy bits are added to the data and at the receiver side it allows to detect and correct the error occur during the transmission in the data words now what is mean by forward error correction as i said while transmitting a data some extra bits are added to the data so that bits are called as a redundant bits so because of this this allows at the receiver side to detect the errors and correct it by itself by the receiver end so there is no need of retransmission of the data from the sender side so because of this your receiver is capable to recover the data from the error so because of that extra redundancy bits so there are some different categories of forward error correction code likewise block codes cyclic codes convolutional codes real solomon codes and turbo codes so from that today we going to see the what is mean by block codes right so first let's see what is a linear block codes linear block codes means that there are data information is divided into different blocks of length k bits means if you are having a lots of data so it is not possible to transmit the continuous data so in this one we transmit the data in different blocks which is having a size of k bits so that is called as a data words each data words is then coded into the block of length n bits that is called as a code words means whatever the blocks you uh, generated of size k bits these are the encoded and you are getting the code word which is having a size of a length n bits so where you can say that the n is always greater than k so n equals to k plus r that r is nothing but the additional extra bits you added into your data word which is also called as a redundancy bits or you can say that these are the nothing but the parity bits which is used to check the error and correct it at the receiver side by the receiver itself so there are some vector notations are used in the linear block codes likes for data words m equals to nothing but the in the row format row vector m1 m2 up to k bits that is mk and for the code word is similar to in the row vector format that is nothing but the u up to u1 u2 up to u n because we are having a code word of length n now figure one shows the linear uh, representation of linear block codes so you can see there is a input which is having a message or you can say data word of size k bits center block is nothing but the channel encoder which encode your data word into the code word which is of having a size of n bits so output of the encoder is nothing but the coded message which is having a size of n bits so from this you can say that we have a two rest to k distinct messages and also we having a two rest to n distinct code words so you can say that you are having a uh, one set of code word of two rest to n so from that you are having a subset of two rest to k which is a unique one so you can say that there is a always one unique code word is assigned to the each data word so that code rate is nothing but equals to k by n because we are having a complete space is of 2 raised to n and for that you are having a subset of 2 raised to k so code rate is equals to k raised to n now previously we seen that we are generating a code word for single data word so there is always possibility that you are having a different blocks and number of blocks so for each 
data word block you have to generate a code word so that can be represented in the matrix form so that code matrix is can be generated by multiplying your data matrix with generator matrix so what is a generator matrix that we going to see in the next session so first let's see what is mean by matrix code matrix and data matrix so u equals to m into g from that u is nothing but your code matrix in which you having different code vectors like we previously see, saw the code vectors which is in the form of row vector u1 u2 up to u u n right so u equals to m into g m is nothing but your data matrix like we already seen for the da data word th there is a row vector m1 m2 up to mk into multiply with the g that is nothing but the generator matrix so let's see example for example uh, you are having a linear block code of 7 comma 4 so from that 7 is nothing but your n which is having a length of code word and 4 is nothing but the k which is nothing but the length of your data word so total data word possible in this linear block code is nothing but 2 raised to 4 which is nothing but the 16 so code rate for this is we already seen the formula k by n which is nothing but the 4 by 7 now let's see the actual example so the generator matrix for a 6 comma 3 block code is given below so this is the generator matrix which is having three rows and six columns right find out all code words for this code now you have to find out the code word for this generator matrix you going to find the code word for data words so you you first need to find how many data words possible for this block code so here you can see that there are n equals to 6 and k equals to 3 so from this always the format is n comma k so n is 6 and k is 3 so likewise we have data words possibilities that 2 raised to k 2 raised to k equals to what 8 so there are 8 data words possible so these are the data words for starting from 00 Zero to one one one, so two raised to eight is total one two three four five six seven eight data words are there. Now we have the data words. So for these data words, we going to find the code words by using this generator matrix, right? So let's go by one. We know that we already have formula code matrix equals to data matrix into generator matrix. this is in the matrix form now let's go vector form so for row vector 1 that is u1 that is code vector 1 is obtained by multiplying data vector 1 into generator matrix right so let's take a first row vector of a data matrix this is a data matrix from that we take a first row vector which is having values M one, M two, M three. That is zero, zero, zero. Is multiplied with generator matrix. We already have generator matrix matrix is given. So this row is multiplied with this generator matrix. Now we know the multiplication of matrix row and matrix. This row is multiplied with this column. Again, this row is multiplied with this column. Again, this row multiplied with this column. Likewise, we have to multiply this row for every column of this. generator matrix so from this multiplication you can see 0 into this 0 1 plus this 0 into 0 plus this 0 into 0 so total you are getting is how, how much this is a 0 similarly for second column first this row and second column is multiply so 0 into 0 plus this 0 multiply with this one plus this 0 is multiply with this 0 so total you are getting is 0 similarly you go, we are going to do for all the columns third fourth fifth and sixth finally we are getting that u1 equals to what 0 0 0 0 0 now this is a code word for message vector 1 this as i said every data word having a unique code word so this code over is for this 
data word similarly we going to find the code word for this second data vector so for this second data vector which is having value m1 m2 m3 that is 0 0 1 is multiplied with this generator matrix so from that multiplication 0 multiply with this one 0 is multiply with this one 1 is multiply with this 0 so this total gives you 0 again second column 0 multiply with this 0 plus 0 multiply this one plus 1 mul multiply with this 0 so total gives you 0 and the third column if you see 0 is multiply with this 0 plus this 0 is multiply with this 0 and 1 is multiply with 1 equals to 1 so final code word for this u2 is what 0 0 1 1 1 1 so this is a code word which is a for data vector this 0 0 1 likewise you're going to find the all the code words for all these eight data words so these are the eight code words for eight data words now let's take again one example which is having a block code of 7 comma 4 generated matrix is given so this in this 7 is nothing but your n and 4 is nothing but k so from that we have to first find out how many data words are possible in this one so there are 2 raised to 4 equals to 16 data words are possible and we know the procedure to find the uh, code words by multiplying your um, data vector into generator matrix from that you are going to find the code word for each data word so these are the 16 possible data words so for individual one you are going to find the code words so these are the 16 code words you can calculate that one and verify this one these are the references Thank you.